bam, back bow with another video. We're going to be talking about the SPY, ticker symbol SPY for the S&P 500. You got to be watching this every day you are in the market. I believe it is very important. And then we're going to go over all the news that we have Monday through Friday, what times they come out, what news to be expecting, and how I plan on managing through that. So smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get this video over 100 likes. Make sure you watch the video before this one. The video before this one, I got FFIV, um, LAZR, SI, and BBIG in that video for Sox. So make sure you watch that. And also remember, starting Monday to Sunday, I'll be posting about four to five videos um, a day to celebrate over 3K videos on YouTube. So be prepared for that. It's going to be a lot of content. And I'll have a discount code for you guys when you guys join the team tomorrow as well, I believe. Um, yeah, probably do that. So news, Monday which is tomorrow. We have factory orders month over month coming out about 30 minutes after the market opens. So you might want to be watching out for that a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be doing too much. And honestly, Monday is kind of a slow news mover, but that could also mean that Monday might stall out and trade sideways after we did just have a big two day push on the spy, right? So just be mindful of that. We're also coming to a heavy resistance on the spy that I'll give you guys after the news. So Monday, pretty much a slow day. Tuesday, there's a big day. We got Fed Chair Powell testifying 30 minutes after the market opens. So Tuesday might be a little harder to try to get a scalp in because we might see a lot of movements depending on what he says. OK, 30 minutes after the market opens. Watch this. This is going to move the market a lot, which also makes me think now tomorrow might be a more of a stall out day because we got big um, a big news driver on Tuesday. That could be something. Just kind of watch out for that. That's the biggest news on Tuesday. Yeah, there's other news like wholesale numbers and all this stuff. But the biggest one is going to be Fed Chair Powell testifying 30 minutes after the market opens. Wednesday, we got ADP non-farm unemployment change. That is going to be big on Wednesday. That's an hour and 15 minutes before the market opens. So that's good. You're going to get a lot of movements before. And then when the market opens, we'll probably be looking for like a continuation or something like that that I'll be looking to scout for on options. You guys know you guys know I love scalping options for consistent profits per week. I teach you guys how to do that. Build your skills when you join the team as well. First link in that description. But we also have more news. Fed Chair Powell is testifying again on Wednesday. That's 30 minutes after the market opens. And we got Jolt's job openings 30 minutes after the market opens as well. So a lot of news on Wednesday. Be prepared to like kind of you might have to be very nimble on Wednesday because there's going to be a lot of news coming in and out. So what can look bullish one day, I mean, bullish one time might turn bearish. What can look bearish might turn bullish. Just be careful of that, right? You only really need about two to three scalps per week to make consistent profit. And then you can play every, uh, all the other stuff like AFC, Mullen, all that is just extra. Also while building that long term. So then we got the 10 year bond auction midday. So Wednesday is going to be a lot of, I probably won't scalp this day. It's a lot, a lot of news coming out Wednesday. Make sure you know what times they are as well, right? So just to recap, we got an hour, hour 15 before the market opens. We got non-farm unemployment change 30 minutes after the market opens. This is on Wednesday. We got a Fed chair pal testifying and Joe's job openings. And then midday, we got the 10-year bond auction. Thursday, we got unemployment claims an hour. Yeah, about an hour before the market opens. That's going to move the market a little bit. We also got a F1 uh, member bar speaking about 30 minutes after the market opens. That might move it. We got natural gas and we got the 30 year bond auction as well. Um, I don't think it's going to move it that much, but natural gas could maybe move it a little bit, but not really. I think Thursday, the biggest news is the unemployment claims an hour before the market opens. Make sure you guys know in this writing down these all these news Friday. Friday, we got average hourly earnings, non farm unemployment change and unemployment rate all coming out an hour before the market opens. So you'll get all the news Friday before the market opens. Last Friday, we actually scalped twice. Well, we actually did three different plays um, Friday. So Friday might be a good day because all the news comes out before the market opens and they're big news movers. So we're going to get a lot of movement and then probably look for continuations off of those. So that's all the news we got this week. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. And now let's go to the levels on the SPY. Like I told you guys, I think SPY is hitting, res is hitting a resistance already. Hell support here. It actually hit a big target on SPY. So this push up is pretty much expected. This is very violent type of push up. Um, I didn't think it was going to move up that fast, but we did play IWM off of this movement. We do have resistance right around 404. 
And then um, to let you guys know how I'm a play spy and what I'm expecting, I'll be posting that for the team, okay? Because the team, they get extra bonus videos every night. So I'll be posting that in the team. So if you want to know how I'm a play spy, what I'm looking for, just make sure you join. Uh, we got support here. Probably like, well, this $400 level is a support, buying pressure, and one. So I'm going to leave it orange. We might get a big push off of this. So say it does this, pull down. We could see a secondary run off around that $400 level. So you do want to be watching out for that. That's very key. But I am expecting some pull down off this 404. Hopefully we can get some pull down to kind of bring down the prices of those call options, bring down the implied volatility, bring down the premium, and then get in at better pricing. But we will see. But make sure you watch out for these two levels on the SPY. Like I say, you need to be watching the SPY every day. Now, if you guys want me to start adding IWM and QQQ, in these news videos, just let me know in the comment section down below. Always remember, no circulation of buyers. So anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.